Good afternoon. He was quite simply the best. Oh, what do you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis here at the office? Right. Well, first of all, uh, we get lots of emails, people emailing us in with problems or invitations or issues they want to raise. So every morning, that's the first priority, to look at the emails and to take any messages off the phone. So it's people ringing and people writing. So they're always, like any office, when you go in in the morning, you check the emails, you check the phone, and you take the post. And they open, and then we have a get-together with the team to discuss them and what we're going to do. So that is the routine we start every day, uh, and they are our top priority. They're always then invitations to go and do things. They're dealt with as well. So the team deals with them. My secretary deals with the invitations and the phone. Perry deals with the constituent cases, and Matthew deals with the rest. And what's your main events to go to? Oh well, then I'm a minister, so we have to go to ministerial meetings. And on Monday, the meetings in Downing Street, and we go there, have a big meeting, and plan the week. Um, and then we have other meetings here with the whips. Um, or committee meetings uh, and it's every day is different depending on what the business is but we are responsible for making Parliament work the Commons work so lots of meetings and then later on votes and the rest and uh, last night on well, Monday I was here from uh, 9.30 through till about uh, well it was be 10 o'clock Tuesday I was here till 7 o'clock. Last night I was here till 9 o'clock. So it was quite a long time. Quite a long day. Today I should be here till 5.30 and then I've got meetings locally in the constituency. Right, it's good to be So what time do you have to wake up in the morning? I get up at uh, 6.15 every morning. Every morning. Six. What time do you get up? Um, 7. 7. What time do you get up? Um, 7. <laughs> 7. <laughs> Anyone else? What time? Anyone I else? 6.30. 6 6.30. What time do we wake up? That's when I wake up. 4.30. Oh! Nicola, what time do we wake up? 7. 4.30 is too early. Well, it's the middle of the night. 4.30 is the middle of the night. What's the time do we wake up? 6 o'clock. That's because of my children. Oh, right. What's the time do Well, I get out to get my wife a cup of tea, you say. I'm coughing, won't be out. Oh, uh, right. And the bucks, yes. It's good. It's good view from there. You see, Westminster Abbey is the old building. The old building. So, yes, I, I get up at 6.15, make a cup of tea, get myself ready. And this morning I was out at 20 past 7. Get to Barnhurst Station to get the train up here. I live in Lintest Road. So it's just... Um, the train I was going to get uh, was eight minutes late, but that was fine. It was uh, instead of seven twenty-nine, it was I think ten minutes late. Eight minutes. Eight it, minutes late. It's, it's good for them. Yes, it's not bad. <laughs> and then I was here at twenty past eight, and then I was in meetings. So, yes. Sir. Um, how much would you say your suits cost about? Well, I I tell you a secret. You know blue water. Yeah. A lot of lot of things there. I go when the sales are on. And um, there's quite a number of uh, uh, shops there, uh, and uh, the suits are usually about four hundred or something, but they get them down to about two hundred. So I like to go then. There's one in the summer, usually June, July, and there's one in the winter, which is around Christmas and the New Year with the sales, and you can get some really good bargains. And I'm very lucky because I'm a standard size, you know. Just I don't, I'm not, you know, six foot six or like me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I get them there, and I choose. There's a um, a number of uh, shops there that uh, have uh, suits in, and you get uh, a good good deal. But I have to wear a suit for work because it's part of our colour uniform. And to go into the House of Commons, the chamber where we speak. You have to have a collar and tie on. You don't have to have a suit, but 
but you do have to have the jacket and uh, the tie. Or the speaker gets very upset mm -hmm. because there's a standard dress, like anyone has. You know, if you're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're a policeman, you have a standard of dress that you have to do. Yeah. Doesn't mean I live in it at home. You know, then I'm casual with a pullover, a sweater, or something. Sorry. <laughs> we politicians talk. <laughs> talk, too talk too much. All right. All right. My other question was: um, Is there anything exciting happening in Bexley Heath in the near future? Well, it, exciting. Now there we are. Well, yes. I don't know uh, what is is exciting. I mean. The thing is, Christmas is coming, so we're obviously going to have uh, hopefully a Christmas market in Bexley Heath, which is always rather good. Um, I'm a big fan of that because I've had French and Italians and various people in selling foods and things. And I believe they're going to do another Christmas market, aren't they, in the near future? So that'll be good. And I think it's good for everybody, whether you're a pensioner, whether you're young, whether you're like us, some of us in the middle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're young, all right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is that, um, that that's good. That's, that's very good. And uh, it gives us kind of buzz, I think. And Christmas is coming, although we just ordered our Christmas cards, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Our Christmas cards. <laughs> <laughs> We're in fish. Well, it does. The trouble is, we have a very busy schedule, you see. So you got, do you want so, a first for me? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. We have them printed, but yeah, I do also. And therefore, we have a huge number to do, about 400. Really? 400. How long do you start early? When do you think the next war will be, like the World War? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm very hopeful that there won't be. One of the things is war is a terrible thing. It's terrible for everybody. Obviously, for our soldiers, the front line, but the people who are their loved ones. It's terrible for the countries. It's terrible for the, the whole world. And the problem is that uh, we do all we can to stop war. There are lots of little wars going on, as we see in places like Syria, and you see all the terrible things on the television. So there are wars still going on, but we hope that we've got the United Nations, we've got NATO, we've got lots of things that hopefully get people talking so they don't, they don't fight. Uh, always, we are working to stop war. And as you know what's happening in Syria, uh, people are trying to do what can be done. Uh, what TV programmes you like to watch when you get home? Well, I don't get a chance to see much TV because, as I've just told you, the time that we do get home is is, is, is difficult. Nothing on the Sky Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Sky Plus. I've only got the free channels, you see. I haven't got them. Excuse me, why do you watch? I do. I, I, I don't get a chance to watch those, but on Sunday night I try and watch whatever's on television. Watch EastEnders, man. No, I don't watch EastEnders. Uh, you watch EastEnders, man. No. Oh, it's good. Though. It's very good. But the trouble is, last night, as I say, I left here at nine o'clock. I was home at ten to ten. By the time I had a few chats with my wife, it's time to bed because I've got to be up at six fifteen. Sunday night, I like to watch things that are on Sunday night. And at the moment, I'm watching Downton Abbey on Sunday night because it's the only night I'm at home. Every week, I'm at home on Sunday night because that's what I am determined to stay at home on Sunday night. And uh, what type of music do you like to listen to? Well, I'm old, you see. I like Motown. I still like the stuff from the 1960s. Oh, that's that's the monitor for the House of Commons. Oh, okay. It tells us what's going on in the House oh, okay. of Commons. So I'm not there. So I like uh, the music from uh, the, I like from the 1960s, and I particularly like soul music and Motown and that sort of thing. So that's what I grew up with. I was a big fan in the 60s of uh, people like uh, Marvin Gaye. No. So I like, but I like all kinds of music and we do go and listen to lots of music. Uh, and I have the radio on, I buy CDs and uh, you know, when I'm driving around. And uh, what was your favorite lesson at school? Oh, history, I loved history. Oh. I love what went in the past, history. I love history, and still do. 
I didn't do it at university, but I do like history. And I, I think we're lucky in Bexley, we've got a lot of history, a lot of sites. I was at Hall Place. Did Hall Place, have you to Hall Place? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were being to Hall Place on, on um, Monday, Monday morning. We were in Hall Place with the minister, <coughs> uh, the heritage minister, and it was lovely. The sun was shining. Makes everything different. Doesn't it? And the yeah. river was nice, and we did that. So I like history. Yeah. Sorry. What's the most exciting thing you've ever done? Oh, we're really lucky uh, here because you meet the Queen at Buckingham Palace. Yes, Buckingham Palace. And um, it's a real honour and privilege to go to things at Buckingham Palace because she's a marvellous role model. For us, having worked uh, 60 years as the Queen, and she's still good fun, um, and she's still got a sense of humour, and that's quite good to have a sense of humour. So, you know, you meet lots of people, you go to lots of places, mm -hmm. and uh, you have the privilege of, uh, of meeting people from uh, other countries. I mean, we had, uh, uh, we've had over the years, uh, uh, President Obama came here, and I met him, and that's a something special, shook him by the hand, said hello, and chatted, and um, you meet entertainers, you know, all sorts of people who are in show business, you meet people, sports people, some tremendous sports people who come here, so we're really lucky that we meet people and go to events. Right, anyone else got anything? Got What's your favourite programme? EastEnders. You're an EastEnders. Yes. That's good. I'm kind of street. Correct. Okay. You like the soaps. I'm back at airport. Emma Darling. <laughs> He's a man who likes his telly. Likes his telly. <laughs> when, we leave, when David leaves every night, he doesn't run down what's on. Yeah. You check yeah, what's on. on. He tells everyone. He tells box. us all. Oh, right. <laughs> you like Google Box? Yeah, yeah. Google Box. <laughs> Fine. Do you like Google Box? Oh, well, that's good. What is your... Do you watch telly? Yeah. What's your favourite? Got a while, or you just mm, you just watch whatever's on. Well, that's good. That's good. And how about do you watch TV? Do you like telly? Um, I don't really watch telly. Uh huh. What do you like doing? What do you like doing, What do you like doing in your spare time? Uh, just going out, really. Going out with friends. Yeah. Uh huh. That's good. That's good. How about you? Do you watch television? <laughs> What's your favourite? Oh, it's The Simpsons, isn't it? Oh, right. Yeah, that's good fun, too. Yeah. That's good fun, too. But we're lucky we have so much television, so much choice, don't we? It's really good. Right. Anyone, anything else? Anything else, Jim? Anything else? <laughs> I, still, I tell you, I still play my 60s music because they're all on CDs now. My, there was the best Motown songs was out on my CD. It's really good. <laughs> no, we're not allowed in here. We work. No time for that. <laughs> I just have a little background. Yeah, a little background. Well, yeah. We've got that little thing. The trouble is when yeah, you're on the, when you're on the yeah. phone, uh, people hear music and think you're having a party. <laughs> eh? That's true. So, uh, as I say, I, we don't have music in the office. But I do in my car when I'm driving around. Because yeah. yeah. that's, that's good. I find it uh, it's relaxing music. Do you like music? Anyone like music? Do you like music? Yeah. What, what, music, does, what music does David like? J-Lo, J-Lo. Oh, right, right, yes. And Jennifer? Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Is the oh, wedding? Sorry. Sorry, David, when he has this time for you, you're too kind. Oh, right. It's an emergency debate. Oh, right. Excuse me, I'll be back. Excuse me a second. Bye-bye.